Grandpa here. Got a book for today. It's some click an underwater type book. It's called Smiley Shark. Let's see that. It's a big old book too. Might have to move the camera back quite a ways to get the page, page, pages in. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Smiley Shark by Ruth Galloway. underwater all right maybe in the tropics to wane with love smiley shark far away in a deep rolling ocean lived smiley shark the smiliest and s sunniest the friendliest and funnest the biggest and toothiest of all the fish. Toothiest. Wonder if that's a real word or not. Every day, Smiley Shark watched the beautiful fish that dipped and dived, jiggled and jived, and darted and dashed with a splash or splish and a splash. Smiley Shark longed to splash, splish and splash with the other fish, but everywhere he smiled, or yeah, everywhere he smiled at them, they swam away. Looks kind of hungry, doesn't he? Looks real hungry. Smiley Shark swam up to Angel Fish. Will you play with me? He asked. Angelfish shivered and shook, then swoosh! She raced away as fast as she could. Puffer was blowing bubbles. That looks fun, laughed Smiley Shark, but Puffer blew himself up into a big spiky ball and pricked poor Smiley Shark on the nose. Boink! Ooh, he's got a sore nose now. Puffer fish. You gotta watch out for those guys. Starfish was twirling and whirling, dancing and prancing. What fun, giggled Smiley Shark. But swirl! Starfish twirled off across the ocean floor. Starfish can move pretty fast. Believe it or not, I used to dive. Smiley Shark showed his toothy smile to jellyfish and octopus and catfish. In a flash, they all took off as fast as they could swim. Yeah, I feel sorry for Smiley Shark. Nobody wants to play with him. Everybody is scared of my big white teeth, wailed Smiley Shark. He didn't feel much like smiling anymore. Splish splash, twisting and turning, splashing and churning. The fish danced faster than ever. Smiley Shark watched from a distance, but this time something was very wrong. All the fish were trapped oh my god they're trapped in a net help cried the fish please help us smiley shark smiley shark swam around and around the fisherman's net what could he do how could he help the only thing smiley shark could do was wait for it smile ah screamed the fisherman, dropping his heavy net into the waves. I'm getting out of here, he cried. Hooray, cheered the fish. We're safe. Thank you, Smiley Shark.
Now, far away in the deep rolling ocean lived, lived Smiley Shark and all his friends. And every day they can be seen dipping and diving, darting and dashing, splash, splishing and splashing, and smiling. Smiley Shark loves to smile, but everyone is afraid of his big, sharp, toothy grin. Catfish, starfish, and octopus all swim away from Smiley Shark as fast as they can. His teeth are too scary. With all the fish are caught in a net, though they need Smiley Shark's help. A big smile is just what the, is needed to save the day. Wow, who would ever thought that a smile could scare somebody away? I never even gave it much thought before. But I guess, I guess a shark showing his teeth kind of is scary. It's like a dog. Sometimes you see a dog, they look at you and they go, like that. That's when you, you, you know that you better back away, be careful. The dog showing you his teeth, that means he, he might be ready to bite you. Usually when people smile at you, though, it's okay. But sometimes maybe not if you don't know them. Don't know what their intentions are. Anyway, I always think a smile looks good on people. I love, I love a good smile. Anyway, hope this book made you smile. <laughs> anyway. I'll see if I can't find another book for tomorrow. See you later. Grandpa loves you. Bye-bye.